Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, here by the Southern District of New York Courthouse today, Monday, December 18th, 2023. It's a rainy, it was supposed to be even rainier than this, day in New York, so we're doing our vlog from here. But today, at 11 a.m., uh, in the tall building behind me, just above uh, the MCC jail, which sits empty, the sentencing of Trevor Milton. Trevor Milton of Nicola, the famous hydrogen heist. We wrote a book on it, and today he'll be sentenced. He wants no jail time at all. He says he was a well-meaning entrepreneur, uh, nothing like Elizabeth Holmes, who sold a fake blood machine. The government, in, in turn, wants 11 years, um, which some call harsh. We'll have to see. Um, we'll be covering it in great detail. Now, we also wrote a story, a kind of a, a, a world's collide story. Last week, we were, I believe, the first to report that Michael Schwartz's lawyer, uh, excuse me, Michael Cohen's lawyer, you, you can look up the names yourself, had presumably used artificial intelligence to do his request for early termination of, of uh, supervision. Um, he used cases from the Second Circuit that didn't, in fact, exist. And so, Judge Jesse M. Furman called him out for it and required a filing um, that we'll be covering as well. But it turns out that Michael Cohn's lawyer worked for a place that's called Gotham Government Relations. It's a lobbying firm. Um, and as luck, or more than luck, would have it, here's a siren, and then maybe it's required. The former Obama official that was caught on camera um, harassing a halal truck guy um, also worked at Gotham Government Relations who quickly went, and went viral cut relations with him. Now worlds collide, how could that be? And how does it u lead to the corruption of the UN and of things like the Turkish mission to the UN construction project? Check it out Inner City Press has the first part of the story Substack has the beginning of the rest and the beginning of the end as we might say Now we had predicted on Friday that Antonio Guterres would slink into a ghoulish and garish um, festival amid Gaza with Sarah Stone, and he did, and we captured it on live on this very camera, live streamed down in front of Casa Cipriani, an absolutely disgusting thing. But what you didn't catch it on camera was his head of accreditation, Melissa Fleming, going in and refusing to answer why she won't answer pro bono law firm letter about restoring access to the press and, and freedom of the press principles. What you can say about the UN is that they're total hypocrites. They talk one thing and they do another. Remember that when you see their deep concern about today's problems. To be continued.